Earth-loving viewers, hello and welcome to this week's edition of Golden Age Technology, featuring a green metropolis of the future, Mazdar City. Mazdar City is a sustainable city project currently under construction on the outskirts of Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. Mazdar City seeks to be a zero carbon emissions metropolis with significantly less water consumption compared to other municipalities of its planned size. This green city is being built in one of the most challenging natural environments in the world, the desert. At the height of summer, the daytime high can be up to 42 degrees Celsius. But when combined with the dry desert winds, it can actually feel as if it's 60 degrees Celsius. A model of eco-conscious living in a carbon-free environment, Mazdar City is envisioned to be a truly ideal world-class metropolis. Clean, green, harmonious, and beautiful. Designed to be a focal point for advanced sustainable technology and energy solutions development, Mazdar City is set to be home of the world's leading international research institutions and businesses involved in these and other fields. Imagine. Imagine a place where the challenge of living in an extreme climate is overcome at no cost to the environment. Imagine a place of the future with all the benefits of 21st century living, yet none of the stresses of outdated 20th century cities. A city that will endure long into the 22nd century and provide a model for sustainable living. Traffic belongs to the past. A place that is safe and clean for children to grow up, for families to thrive and communities to prosper. Imagine an environment combining the magnificent piazzas of southern Europe with the intricate network of shaded pedestrian streets of Arabian cities. Imagine a hub of global scientific endeavor where the city itself is a testing ground for the future of humanity. Imagine a place which will be the global center for the future of energy. A place where individuals, companies and organizations are committed to finding solutions to one of the most pressing issues of our time. Mazdar City is located just 17 kilometers outside Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates and one of the nation's main economic and cultural hubs. The two cities are connected by a light rail system. This will allow a projected 60,000 workers to commute each day to this eco-center. This daily influx of workers will add to Mazdar City's expected base population of 40,000 residents. The city is a project of the Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company, also known as Mazdar, which is owned by the Emirates of Abu Dhabi. Mazdar City was planned in partnership with the World Wildlife Fund, or WWF, and Bioregional, an international charity focusing on environmental sustainability. The entire city is orientated northeast to optimize the flow of cool night breezes through the municipality and reduce exposure to hot daytime winds. It is also surrounded by a wall for further protection from the harsh winds, creating a six square kilometer block, perfectly square in shape. The result is that Mazdar City enjoys a unique microclimate with relatively comfortable temperatures. Residents and visitors will enjoy numerous green parks that will be located throughout the city. Streets will be lined with structures featuring overhangs to give welcome shade to pedestrians on the sidewalks. Landscaping and water features will also provide cooling as well as add to the city's beauty and serenity. Also supported by international businesses and organizations, Mazdar City is truly a global collaboration of like-minded, forward-thinking institutions that all share a concern for the future of our planet. The design of the city and its buildings are the work of the prestigious British architectural firm Foster & Partners, which is responsible for many high-profile architectural projects across the world, 
including London UK's Millennium Bridge and the Hong Kong International Airport. Mazdar's construction plan has three stages. The first stage began in 2008 and is now completed. There are now six main buildings, 101 residential apartments and an electronic library. It is also home to the Mazdar Institute of Science and Technology, which opened in 2009 and was the first institution to occupy the city. By the end of 2011, Mazdar City will feature an additional 222 apartments as well as shopping facilities. As Stage 2 progresses, it is thought that by 2015, Mazdar City will be home to 7,000 residents, with 12,000 workers commuting daily from Abu Dhabi. After the completion of Stage 3, which will be sometime between 2020 and 2025, it is projected this idyllic desert paradise will host approximately 100,000 residents and workers. Under the master plan, food markets and restaurants will serve fresh, organic and sustainably sourced produce. Homes and offices will be powered by alternative energy sources such as wind and solar. Water conservation will be a top priority with a goal of just 60% for water usage of comparably sized cities, as well as having wastewater recycled and reused to the greatest extent possible. The city will be divided into four quarters. The residential quarter will feature comfortable, state-of-the-art homes and apartments. The commercial district will have high-tech offices, lively shopping centers, restaurants and markets. The research and development quarter is set to house the world's leading clean tech and sustainable energy companies and organizations. The fourth quarter is the campus of the Mazdar Institute of Science and Technology, which hosts students and professors from around the world. Currently, the institute has 170 students of 32 different nationalities. Two in every five students are female, while 43% are citizens of the United Arab Emirates. Eventually, the institute's enrollment will be between 600 and 800 students. The 42 faculty members come from top-ranked universities around the world. The institute, which is affiliated and is supported by the renowned Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the US, is dedicated to research and development in these four exciting fields. 1. Sustainable energy production and storage. 2. Efficient energy delivery and use. 3. Water, environment and climate. And 4. Integrated sustainable development. Mazdar City is currently utilizing power from a 10 megawatt solar photovoltaic plant located within the city, the largest such facility in the Middle East. Additional power will come from photovoltaic systems located on the roofs of buildings. For example, Mazdar Institute now generates 30% of its power from a 1 megawatt photovoltaic solar array on its rooftop. Modern, high-tech wind towers based on structures found in traditional homes and buildings in the region will be installed as well. A wind tower takes the cooler winds that are blowing high above and directs the air into the building to moderate indoor temperatures. Also, following in the footsteps of older architecture found in many Middle Eastern cities, buildings are being constructed on higher ground to take advantage of these cool winds, while streets are made narrow to allow air to flow naturally through the municipality. These traditional passive design features result in much lower daytime indoor air temperatures, which in turn reduces electricity consumption. All energy that is used within homes and offices is closely monitored with high-tech devices and can be centrally controlled. Martin Potter, Director of Operations at the Mazdar Institute and known as the school's green policeman states, I want to know exactly how these buildings work. I can pinpoint who is using the most energy and water, whether in an apartment or the academy. Certain students have been used to having the air conditioning on at 16 degrees Celsius. Here, it is 24 degrees Celsius. Mazdar City buildings conform to the highest standards in green architectural design, including incorporation of the latest in super-efficient power and water-saving technologies. 80% of the water used will be recycled and wastewater, once cleaned, will be employed for such purposes as crop irrigation. Household garbage will also be minimized by enforcing strict recycling regulations. 
Non-recyclable and non-recoverable materials will be sent to modern waste incinerating facilities to convert the refuse into energy. Mazdar City will have a number of robust public transportation options and feature clean, safe and quiet shaded pathways to facilitate walking throughout the community. Besides light rail, there will also be electric buses and cars to convey people within the city limits. Personal vehicle use in the city will be highly restricted. The already built first stage of the municipality features an underground personal rapid transit or PRT system. The system has battery powered private pods with no driver that take passengers between stations. These vehicles are fully automated and are guided by a central computer system. The pods recharge automatically while waiting for riders. The PRT system has all the advantages of private transport such as on-demand availability and privacy with the conveniences of public transport such as no congestion or parking problems. It also provides a clean, zero-emissions transportation solution that will help the city in achieving its sustainability goals. Even though it is not fully completed, the city has already won numerous awards and accolades. These include being voted Sustainable Region slash City of the Year at the Euromoney and Ernst & Young's Global Renewable Energy Awards in 2007, and the Mazdar Institute winning the Royal Institute of British Architects International Award for Architectural Excellence in 2011. For now, life in Mazdar City moves forward at a steady pace. Residents, academics and students are busy at work. The city's solar power plant generates energy for the ongoing construction of roads and buildings. The city is preparing for an influx of new people that will soon bring the added life of families walking the tranquil, gorgeous streets and shoppers enjoying the bustle of the markets. Mazdar is the city of the future. Demonstrating Abu Dhabi's leading role in the development of sustainable future energy and environmentally responsible living. Mazdar, creating a manifesto for sustainable life. For more details on Mazdar City, please visit www.mazdarcity.ae. Kind viewers, we appreciated your company on today's episode of Golden Age Technology. Up next on Supreme Master Television is Vegetarianism, the noble way of living, after noteworthy news. May each day bring us ever closer to a loving, serene world that is in harmony with the divine. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash G-A-T.